Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 15.96, okay? It says, determine the angular momentum h of each of the two particles above point O, all right? So what we have in here, we're giving uh, this particle A and particle B, both of them have their respective uh, velocities. And we want to calculate the angular momentum about this point O, which is basically the origin on this um, uh, Cartesian coordinate okay so the only thing that we need to know of, uh, in order to solve this problem is that angular momentum h is equal to the distance uh, multiply I'm sorry by the mass times the velocity okay so this is kind of very similar to finding the summatory of like momentum of a moment uh, when we're doing a statics problems when we have the distance r multiplied by the force okay so it's a very similar concept so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, determine this angular momentum for each of the two particles okay so we're going to divide that for two particles so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to assume that going counterclockwise is positive and we're going to start with the angular momentum that particle A is doing about my point O, okay? So we're going to focus on this particle A. Its mass is equal to three kilograms. That's something that I want you guys to notice. And we're going to divide its velocity into its X component and Y component, okay? So we're going to start with its X component. Well, its X component acts in a line of action like this, right? So the distance is these two meters. So we're going to have two meters multiplied by the mass, which is three kilograms, as I mentioned before, multiplied by its velocity. Well, its com X component of this velocity. Well, its magnitude is A, but we have three out of five going in that direction, okay? Now, the last thing that we need to know is that since I'm interested about this point O and the velocity is going this way, my momenta will want to go clockwise direction. Therefore, it's going to be negative. Then we're going to do the same thing, but with my Y component of my velocity. And same thing is going to go clockwise direction. So it's going to be negative. Its distance is going to be marked by this zero, uh, this 1.5 meters. So we got 1.5 multiplied by the mass, and mass that stays the same, equal to 3, and its velocity is going to be 8 multiplied by 4 over 5, very similar. If we plug this into our calculator, we will find out that this is equal to 57.6, and the units is going to be kilograms meter square per second. Okay, so we're done with our particle A, we're going to go ahead and now concentrate my particle B, we're going to break it very similarly into its y component and its x component okay so again we're going to assume counterclockwise is going to be positive and we're going to do the angular momentum particle b around my point o and what do we have well let's start with the x component well the x component if i'm holding here and i'm going around this velocity we will create a negative volume the distance is one meter as we can see in here one meter multiplied by its mass which is four kilograms multiplied by its velocity well the magnitude of this entire velocity is six but how much of it is going to be its x component well it's going to be the magnitude six multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees okay then we're going to uh, do the same thing for its y component. We have um, its y component since I'm holding here. I like to think of it as holding in here and having a force pushing this way. Then our angular momentum will be clockwise again. So negative. And we will have the distance is 4 meters multiplied by its mass, which is 4 kilograms times its velocity, which is 6 multiplied by the cosine of the 30 degree angle. And if we plug this into our calculator, we'll get a total of negative 95.1 kilogram 
meter squared per second okay one thing i like to know i made a small mistake in here when i add them up in my calculator i forgot to put the minus sign therefore both of them should be negative because the momenta is going in the clockwise direction for this both particles but this should be our final answer for this problem so i hope you guys liked the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one